Hey everybody. Today we're going to read Anywhere Artist. I know I already uploaded it onto YouTube, but we're going to try it with a different application today. And I'm going to try to add some ideas at the end for you to add to your own artwork. So the book is called Anywhere Artist. It's by Nikki Slade Robinson. I am an Anywhere Artist. I don't need paint or paper. I can make art anywhere. My imagination is all I need. I'm a forest artist. I find fluffy lichen, twisted sticks, and smooth stones. I pick up lacy leaf skeletons. I can make anything I want. I am a beach artist. I collect salty shells. I shape sand. I spread curly seaweed out. I use driftwood, making it stand tall to cast long finger shadows over my art. I am a rain artist. My feet dance ringlet patterns in the puddles. I squish oozy mud into silly shapes. I am a sky artist. I lie on the grass and make art inside my head. The clouds are my paints. My imagination is my brush. Sometimes my art fills the whole sky. I can make art anywhere. I can make art with anything. I bet you can too. So what will you make today? So I'm going to show you how I was an everywhere artist this last week. In the book, the artist finds a lot of things in nature that she can use for her art. And I was thinking about it because I don't really have a beach I can go to right now. I can't really travel to the woods. So I was trying to think of some of the things I did have close by. So I started thinking, hmm, well, I spend all day every day in my house. Ooh, I know. I bet I can be an anywhere artist in my own house. So I started in the kitchen and I found some bowls and I found some forks and I found a barbecue brush and I found an orange slice. And I started thinking about what all of those pieces could make together. So I turned it into a snowman. I laid out my cups and I laid out my little pieces and I made a happy little snowman because I'm an anywhere artist. Then, I started digging through the drawer that has all of our sauces from all of the takeout we've been having because we're stuck inside. I found soy sauce packets. I found um, spicy pepper packets. I found knives. I found forks. And then I found some purple yarn because, you know, I'm an art teacher and I have purple yarn. Anyway, so I made a little girl out of sauce packets and forks because I'm an anywhere artist. But then I started thinking, I can't go to the woods but I do have a backyard. So I went out to my backyard and I found some rocks and I found some leaves and I found some bits and pieces that had fallen off the tree. And I turned those bits and pieces to a fish and some rocks. Because I'm an Anywhere artist, I was able to use all of those little bits and pieces I found and turn them into my art supplies. Same with this cute little family. Again, these are pieces and parts from my own backyard. I didn't have to leave my yard. I don't have a very big yard, so I was able just to step outside and find some extra things. But if it's too rainy or if it's too cold or if it's too just late to go outside and do some art, you can still find the stuff inside like I did for my, um, my kitchen artist parts. So what I want you to do this week is I want you to start thinking about how you can be an anywhere artist. What can you turn into art? Can you find something in your kitchen that you can turn into um, a design or a pattern? Are there things that you can make that will look like a self-portrait or things that you can find that you can turn into a rainbow? Start looking and be thinking about how to be creative because I'm going to ask you to make some of your own anywhere art. All right. Thanks, everybody. I miss you. Hope to see you soon.